Alright, uh, uh, how do I avoid that? Oh. God damn it, I thought I got out of it. Oh. oh my goodness. So brutal. Alright, let's go to camouflage real quick, because uh, obviously this is not what we need. Uh, I think it's, yeah, fly, okay. I, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, face. I totally forgot about face. Uh, let's do... Let's do snow. Yeah, that's better. Alright. Um, where are you? Okay. So this is the final fight of Metal Gear Solid 3. It's awesome. I love this battle. But holy crap, is it hard. It's the hardest boss fight in the game, for sure. And you have a time limit too. It doesn't show on the screen, but you have a time limit. And I have no idea where the hell you are either, bitch, so. Jesus, there she is. <laughs> you really have to, like, keep an eye on her, make sure you don't lose her, otherwise, you're screwed. God. Um. Oh, there we go again. Yeah, the sniper's pretty good with her. Uh, I either use that or the shotgun. Oh, there she is. She's run over there. Okay. Oh, jeez. This is so intense. This is so intense. Okay, this is... There she is. Ha! <laughs> Eat it! Yeah, keep a close eye on her. And I think I just lost her. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there she is. Good thing she's got that question mark thing. Ah, oh, jeez. Good thing she wasn't close to me at that point. Um, stop hiding. Damn it. Woman, come out. Ah, there she is. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, that's why it was, it was zoomed in the whole way. That's why it was hard to see. Stupid. Um, she's right frickin' here. There she is. What? Ah! Get ready. No! God! No! Ah, get out of that thing! Okay, uh... Hmm. Shotgun? Where's the shotgun at? Where is it? Where? Is it? There it is. Move or you're dead. You can't hit me. Time to play rough. Come on! What? I thought we were gonna uh, hang out and stuff. Uh, I thought we were friends and stuff. You trained me and stuff. Remember that and stuff. Damn it, now she's gone. Lovely. Well, there she is. Yeah, I have. Damn right, woman. Cause yeah. I'm stronger. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to keep tapping it. Damn it. Uh, pathetic. You're pathetic. You're the one with blood on your chest. Alright, uh, got her. For some reason it worked that time, so let's take advantage. And shoot her again. 
Boom, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, I know, right? I'm singing all these stupid songs. I should be singing Megadeth. Hell yeah, Megadeth. Subscribe and like if you like Megadeth. Um, where is she at? Oh. Okay. Uh, five more minutes. That's all I needed to waste your pansy ass, little bitch. Alright. Uh, yeah, she's almost dead. Almost. And then we have, like, the longest cutscene in the game. Oh, man. One more hit. That's it. Maybe we should just run at her with the Patriot now. <laughs> Let's just do that. Yeah! <laughs> it worked! Oh, so that's it. Oh, it's sad. I wanna... I'm gonna miss this game. I love it. Oh. And this is actually a really emotional part, so I'm not even gonna talk or make any jokes. Because it's not supposed to be funny. Keep it safe. It's our only hope. A patriot? Why are you giving me this? Jack. Or should I say, Snake, you're a wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Uh, I hate this part. It makes you kill her. I can't do it. So this is pretty much the end here. It's, uh, well, it's the beginning of the end. Or it's the end of the beginning. No, it's the end of the beginning. Yeah, that's it. Because this is, this is how it all begins. But this is how it ends. Oh, it hurt. Oh, that sucks. Ready to go, Snake? Are you okay?
snake? Yeah. I told you you could trust me. Picked up a few new moves. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva! Freaking hilarious if Snake's gun was loaded and Ocelot's wasn't. He would have been like, Wait, no, that's not loaded! <laughs> what do you say to one last showdown? Yeah, alright. We gotta pay attention here. Okay. Who 
pretty sure it ends up being the one on the right. I didn't pay attention to any of that. I was actually looking a little bit to the right just now. I was watching a cat. So... What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. What's yours? John. Very well, John. Plain name. But I won't forget it. Come on! All right. Okay, that was right there, the last bit of gameplay of the whole game, so pretty epic stuff. <laughs> oh no, wait. No, we still get to attempt to shoot. That's the last bit of gameplay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hopefully I picked the right one. Nope. Ah, oh, crap! He got it! Damn it! Oh, well, that's poo. Oh, Just shoot me, you dick. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a blank. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Till we meet again, John. Them. They're gonna shoot us down. We were 
there's something loose. Weapon systems on. Locked on target. I got towed. You were great, Eva. Huh? Thanks. Volk 19, this is Control. Stand by for a direct order from the Chairman. Volk 19, return to base immediately. Do you read me? This is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Return to base immediately! Volk 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. RTB. Look! The MiGs are turning back! Well done, Snake. The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena Base to meet you. To meet me? The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. So what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB? What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. Is that part of your mission, too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I don't take orders from anyone now. Not the only one afraid to 
Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of the People's Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And I'm sorry. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, my mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy too. I got the film containing the legacy, and also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the US and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan. Thanks to your help. I too am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint US-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake, she wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy and to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. But I can't do it. 
do it. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice, because that was her duty. Above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. You are a true patriot. who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss, and that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it, not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death at your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. 
out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Ugh. Ugh. Man, that ending. I tell you. Not too many movies or video games have that ability where they can, like, push you as a, like, fucking big, big ass manly, strong ass dude to, like, a little whimpering bitch at the end of it all, you know? Oh, man. That's some powerful shit. Kojima, you're a genius. Total man tears, you know, not in your throat kind of feeling at the end there. So I didn't want to say a word through it all because it just totally fucking ruins the damn thing. But yeah, that's the let's play of mine for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure as hell did. I'm gonna definitely continue my let's plays. I really appreciate all the support everybody gives me, all the positive enforcement. It's always great to hear compliments and all stuff like that. And all, all my subscribers, thank you so much. I'm already at 170 something now, so and it's 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 continuing to grow. And I'm just I'm really happy about that. So I'm definitely gonna keep doing let's plays. Uh, I'm gonna finish. 
Splinter Cell 1 now. So. Alright guys, well, as I always say, keep rocking out and keep gaming. And uh, stay tuned for more Let's Plays. I'm going to have a lot more to come, so y'all take care and be safe. Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed.
Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work too. Speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Yes, we have John, I mean Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Yes, they bought our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple crossing them. I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Of course, I am always at the CIA's disposal, Mr. Director.